here mm -hmm. in the South Bronx. This yep. is our hood, my hood. This is like my mom learned how to ride bike in this park. Okay. So, how much yeah. in the Bronx? Nice. That's fantastic. My hours here is going to it down. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. My mom's diabetic, you know, so she asked and it's not even just like a... It's actually quite personal, you know what I mean? I think it's really great what's being done in the community to kind of get people to understand what's happening because it's just becoming uh, epidemic proportions, really. Absolutely. So. Yeah, like, tell us, like, for you, grew up Afro-Latina, mm -hmm. right? And foods at home. What are some of your maybe favorite foods that you know are not maybe the greatest, but they're still, like, your comfort go-to Oh, I mean, like all types of Spanish food, but that's the great thing. My mom knows how to make a lot of stuff really healthily. Like we made a hundred trays of lasagna. Well, I had a hundred trays, a hundred servings of lasagna for the crew yesterday. Mm. And, you know, she knows how to make a pasta list and vegetarian and vegan and raw lasagna. Nice. You know, so you can still have the foods that you love without it having to be, that's going to be really bad for your recording later. But, yeah. So, you know. <laughs> See, like in film world, we'd go cut, cut for the sound. Be like, okay, can we get it? But this is the Bronx, so going with the flow. Yeah, it's happening. And that's from the boogie down. So yes. Yeah. Okay. I love it. I love it. So that's been one of the amazing things, you know, for like health reasons and also just taste and flavors. You know, my mom has learned how to make sushi. You know, she learned how to make all types of stuff that would be comfortable for all of us. You know, and. You know, there's food allergies, there's lots of yeah. different reasons to pay attention to, I mean, also just feeling better and taking care of your body and yourself and making Absolutely. sure that you are on this planet as long as you can possibly be. Totally. And that doesn't mean you have to eat food that you don't like yeah. in order to stay here and be healthy. Exactly. So what kind of food do you like to eat when you need to feel, like, poderosa, when you need that power? In the morning, what do you go to? In the morning. during the day, yeah, it all. depends. I mean, I love oatmeal. I love, you know, I love a good scrambled eggs, and I, you know, but I, I love bacon. I love all that kind of stuff. But my mom makes like it really amazing. She she does a stir fry of beans, and she does um, a spinach and like a whole thing. She's really good with like collard greens and just making stuff. So. I love making a really great salad with tuna in it, you know, oh. I'll make a tuna salad sandwich with avocado instead of using mayo, yes. you know, like That's for the good. lasagna, rather than using cheese, you use tofu instead of the ricotta, oh. that cheese, so you use tofu, so you have more protein, and when you're making the meat, you strain out the, you know, you cook it first, and then yeah. you strain out the oil before you put it in, so yeah. it's less greasy, like there's just lots Hello. of different ways, write like, it down kids, write it down, really delicious stuff, and still having, and actually, you can eat more of it then, because you don't mm -hmm. feel all weighed down, like, you know, we kind of, sometimes we get used to having these meals and, you know, if you're feeling like you want to pass out and not wake up for 10 hours, you're like, oh, that was a good meal. But personally, I like to sit there and have three servings. And I want to, you know, I don't want to pass out after one bite. I don't want to mm -hmm. feel like I can feel the oil coagulating in my veins. You know, I want to feel good and feel energized from the food I'm eating. Yeah. And I think that's the biggest thing. And, and also, if you want to have something, and I've told mom that for a long time, if you want to eat something that, you know, like that cookie or whatever it is, have that cookie because the stress that you put on your body and, um, and thinking about it and stressing about it and not doing it is actually worse for your system than does us that one cookie. That yeah. one cookie is not going to kill you. Yeah. But what is is how you treat yourself. So know that you can have that with food and you know, do it in portions. You can have the meal you want but don't have the whole thing. Have some of it and then really enjoy it and know that you're taking care Favorite. of yourself and you're enjoying life. Love it. Oh, Love have it. your cake and eat it too. I don't even Woo! understand that. Now we understand. That's the weirdest thing. <laughs> I know it's so weird, right? <laughs> Never understood that. Can you that good, the yeah. projects you're working on? Yeah. Um, just finished. I just finished wrapping a, a Chris Rock movie that we were shooting all in the city. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's nice. a really fun comedy, actually. And you're good. I have one app. Yeah, go uh, ahead, go for it. Sofrito for your soul. 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 What do you need? You don't need a shout out from me. We're here. We <laughs> got this. <laughs> do Get it. Like, do you get it get it <laughs> and you're here today in the community hanging out is that something that's really important to you just like coming being just being yeah it's right? totally normal i love it yeah, yeah. Out. that's what's up i love it what a call. it's been really awesome actually because we've been shooting the film here you asking about and i haven't spent a whole summer in new york in mm. a long time 
So it's been two and a half months. We've gone to Coney Island a few times. We've gone to the beach a couple times. We went to Long Island and visit family. I went upstate to visit and see. Summer in hug New a York tree and like look at the river. Amazing. I just took my mom out on a date. We saw, we've seen a couple plays now since I've been here. And, Fantastic. You know, it's just been really, really happy. We've had some Aww. epic bike rides. We went on a five-hour bike ride the other day. I mean, like... Just spontaneous and having a good time, yeah. having food, chilling, going and have, we've had Spanish food three times in the neighborhood, just like going out like, oh, let's go get some fried chicken. <laughs> That's hilarious, but it really makes me Yeah, very nice. Love it, love it, love it. That's what's up, girl. I eat a lot of raw food, I didn't even say that, but I eat a lot of raw food sometimes. Mm -hmm. Like, I went, when I was doing, um, when I was working on rent, and it was really interesting, actually, because people weren't as interested in hearing that. Like, they wanted to hear that I had, because I had to be... I was HIV positive on the, the film, on the, yeah. and I had to be dying in the movie, but I also needed to dance and sing, so I needed a lot of energy. Mm. And so, you know, people would ask me every time, because I was really thin in the movie, and they would go, how did you lose the weight? And I go, oh, you know, well, I was really healthy about it. I, I just, I, I cut out flour, and I cut out, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm you know, not great with dairy. I still eat it, so I love cheese and mm -hmm. ice cream on occasion. But, you know, for that, I really cut it completely out. I cut out, like, sugar pretty much all together, and I ate a lot of raw food. Mm -hmm. so I, and I had a ton of energy, and the food is so vibrant. It's so yeah. colorful when you're eating things. Because you're just eating the energy of the sun. Yes. It makes sense. You know, you put a cooked apple in the ground, it rots. You put an apple into the ground and a tree grows. Yeah. So imagine what that does in your body. So I got really into it. We're shooting in San Francisco and there's this really great raw food restaurant. And my mom started learning how to make a bunch of raw food dishes. Mm. And so it was just like really, really good and healthy. And I would do the press around it and people were like, oh. And they wouldn't write about it because they wanted to hear that, oh, I just... You know, Ooh, drank a, I drank a diet coke and like smoked cigarettes all day on one apple, and I starved myself. Like that's what they wanted to hear. The drama, really dramatic and unhealthy. And it was like, yeah, yeah. no, actually, I ate all day and I ate a lot, and it was really filling and really delicious and nutritious. And I learned a lot of great new dishes that I still incorporate into wow. my life because eating raw food yeah, the way that it was yeah. made is pretty amazing.